PS3 games are now running on Android and it's getting better every day. Yes, you heard that right. Full-fledged PlayStation 3 titles are now playable on your phone. This isn't some fake video or clickbait scam. It's 100% real and fully working. The magic happens through APS3E, the revolutionary PlayStation 3 emulator, now getting regular updates directly from the Google Play Store. APS3E has two different versions. One is completely free free and another one is around $5. But there is no technical difference between them. Paid version is simply there is a way to support the developer through donations. If you can find the application on the Google Play Store, you can also download it from the official GitHub of APS3E emulator. When you first launch the application, it looks very similar to Nether SX2 or Ether SX2. At first, the emulator gathers basic information about your device. then auto configures itself for the best performance. To play the PS3 games, you must install the PS3 firmware. You can find the firmware from the official site of PlayStation 3. It doesn't take too much time to compile the firmware like RPCSX UI Android. That's very good. Next, you will be asked to select your game directory. Your legally owned games should be in ISO format. You can also install games in PKG format, which I will show you later. Next, emulator will prompt you to select a font file. I highly recommend choosing the firmware font to avoid potential issues or crashes. Enable use custom driver, then select the custom driver path from your phone storage. I'm using Adreno 819. Unfortunately, non-Snapdragon users ought to be able to take advantage of this feature. Finally, click on the finish button. You can now see all your games in the game library. If you click on the three doors you will get more options to fully customize the emulator you will find a refresh button an option to install firmware and the ability to install pkg file here you will also find the virtual keypad you can easily move resize add or remove keys to your liking however i personally think the default key mapping is already perfect for most games Head into the settings menu under core settings using recompiler LLVM is perfectly fine for the PPU decoder. For PPU threads, you should check your phone threads. I would recommend you to select two or four. Now let's talk about the most anticipated update video settings. Here you can choose between OpenGL or Vulkan as your rendering API. For high-end games, consider lowering the resolution 720 into 480 for smoother game play set aspect ratio 16 h to 9 the frame rates can go up to 120 fps by i recommended keeping it on auto set shader processing to low to avoid crashes enable both right color buffers and right depth buffers to fix graphical glitches enable p sync to eliminate screen tearing and turn on stretch mode for full screen gameplay sometimes using the lowest resolution still get low fps at that time you can decrease the resolution scale to fix it there are many more advanced features under the Vulkan settings section one important option is vram allocation which lets you decide how much of your device ram should be used by the emulator i recommend to select 6 to 8 gb for the emulator you should also enable the performance overlay option this will show frame rates gpu load and other important stats as for the remaining options they are already well optimized you don't need to change anything if you have messed up the settings and want to reward everything quickly called reset to default that was a full demonstration of aps3 e emulator now you can enjoy the ps3 games on your android thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more emulation updates and gaming contents see you in the next video take care